Hello again, good friends. Welcome, new subscribers. I'm Brian from Apex Detail. Pad choice. Uh, this will be the second installment of this series we've covered in the first video. Uh, pad choice for softer clear coats. When you're walking up to the car and you see the car, you should already have a group of pads in mind. And then when you get a closer look and you see what kind of damage or imperfections you need to remove, you should have that pad choice down to two. So today we're going to cover um, pad choice for moderate clear coats. Uh, clear coats that are yeah, medium to slightly leaning towards hard or stubborn. And then we'll follow that up later on with um, pad choice for real hard, stubborn clear coat. And then we're also going to do one on st single stage paints. So we have a car out in the bay ready for us to correct. Let's get to it. All right, a Mercedes uh, BMW rolls in immediately. I have a group in mind. We have the hybrid blue uh, wool pad, foam pad from Lake Country, the Lake Country Lowland pre-washed lambs wool pad. We have the Eurofiber 50-50 blend. We also have a Lake Country light compound. That's just a standard orange foam pad, open cell. We also have two microfibers. I hope not to use those, but I did get them out in case there's really heavy imperfections or damage to remove. All right, so b before we walk around the car, I'm just going to put these two to the side and hope we don't have to be any more aggressive than that. What we have are swirls um, from washing at a dealership uh, using the same bucket to wash 28 cars in a row, and they're using the, the brushes as well. So we have some light swirling. It's really good we don't have a lot of heavy swirling or deep scratches. This car is just starting out uh, its life on the road, so we can leave a lot of clear coat behind. We don't have to go crazy, uh, and we are going to use these two. We'll use both. We'll test both of them. We're going to start with the 50-50 uh, blend Eurofiber pad. Uh, half the fibers polish, half the fibers are there to compound, to, to cut. And we're going to stick with the, the 3D1. It's great when we can get away with using this product here with the uh, micro alumina abrasives. They aren't, uh, they don't have a ton of aggression, but they are very consistent. And I really enjoy it. I've been enjoying this product lately. The 50 50 uh, Euro pad here, uh, we're going to do two passes, which is going to be a crisscross pattern. And then I like to stop and check my work. And as I mentioned in previous videos, this also gives me a chance to let the panel cool down. We're just working a small section. The rest of the panel is room temperature, which is now quite cool. I like the shop cool. It's now autumn going into uh, winter time, so it's really getting cool. The panel's probably about 65 degrees, 62 degrees, somewhere in there. We want to keep the correction, the test panel, the test area within 20 degrees of that. So we don't want to go above 85 degrees. So we're going to do two passes, again crisscross. We're going to stop, check our work, give the rest of the, the test area a chance to cool down. If we need to go back, we can, no big deal. Um, if that's all we need, we're just going to move on. I've also been getting a lot of great questions about lighting setup during correction, and this is how I like to have it. I like to have the shop dark except for the, the area I'm correcting. And then I'll have two Huskies uh, LEDs set up on either side. Once you're established, if you want to go out and grab the scan grip, you, you can absolutely go ahead and do that. You know, there's no wrong answer there. They are a ton of money, but I'm telling you, these Huskies you can buy anywhere at Lowe's, Home Depot. They are very unforgiving uh, when it comes to clear coat, and uh, you know, my customers will vouch for that. I like to show them their imperfections on their car using those lights, and they, uh, they bring out absolutely everything. So I'll have one on either side, and I can see everything I need to correct. Uh, you will not miss anything with those, and both setups are somewhere around 100 bucks. All right, so we, we did the work we needed to do with the 50 blend on the door. We can get around the whole car, use that. We'll be fine with just two passes and the 3D1. Let's move on to the wheels. They've also been scratched. I don't, I don't even know how they've been scratched like this, but I can tell you, clear coat on the wheel, you think would be a little bit more stubborn, uh, a little bit harsher, but it's just as soft, sometimes softer than the clear coat on your car. So I'm gonna put an old Eurofiber uh, pad I had that most would throw away. I keep these to the side for different situations. 
and we're going to throw that on the polisher and we're going to correct the clear on the wheels the wheel pattern is uh, not intricate it's just flat simple but it really it really does bring out a good look to the to the SUV here if they are shined up and they look proper All right, that looks good. That's going to do it. Let me grab the camera and bring you guys in close, and you can see the difference. Uh, I left half of the wheel unfinished. All right, I went ahead and finished the whole wheel, and you can see the difference it makes uh, when these wheels are done right. It makes the rest of the vehicle pop, and we're ready to move on. Okay, on the driver's side here, we have the same swirling we want to remove, and we're going to use the orange cutting pad, the light cutting pad from Lake Country on this side to show you that would work as well. That was one of the two pads we chose at the beginning, and these are great. These are the open cell pads, and open cell pads are great because they let air flow through the foam. You do need to clean them out then because the compounds, the polishes, will seep into those pores. So it's important between every pass to use whatever you want to use, your pad washer, uh, compressed air, a brush, um, designated pad cleaner, and keep them clean between every pass. And then the open cell pads will keep the temperature on that panel, that little area you're working on, cooler, and will keep it within that 20 degree difference that we were mentioning earlier. Once again, we'll do a crisscross pattern up and down, then left and right. Pressure is going to be like a firm handshake, and the speed of the polisher, mid speed. I usually run it between three, three and a half, depending on the dial on your polisher. Correction speed for our movement uh, one inch every second or two to be effective with the pad in contact with the surface in order to be effective at speeds three and four which is where I want to keep the uh, the speed of the polisher to keep the temperature down you need to move your arms in a rate of one inch every second or two uh, I see in a lot of videos some guys just throwing the polisher around really fast hey if that works for them which I can't see how it does whatever but uh, I'm telling you the the proper speed to get something done and you can move on and not have to mess around and go over the panel again. And when I get the correct angle with the light, you'll be able to see this combination uh, worked well. Uh, again, you can use either pad, uh, it, whichever you like. I prefer using the 50-50 blend. I'm, I'm really accustomed to how it works on different clear coats now. So I usually grab that one and lean towards that. But as you can see here, the open cell foam pad worked. And when we're finished, this is what it looks like. We have a very bright white uh, new Mercedes here. It's also protected. And guys, brand new, off the lot. You can easily make it look 15 to 25% better, brighter, uh, clear, and um, a bit more glossy than when they drive it off the lot or off the production line. Okay, I hope that helps you narrow down and speed up your pad choice as you're um, going into a correction. 
uh, so you don't have to experiment with 10, 11 pads. You should have it down to a group when you see the car. And uh, by the way, I am trying to put a comprehensive list together for the um, for the clear coats, how hard they are, which brands, makes, models. Uh, it's it's quite tedious, so give me some time on that. I know that will help you as well, but when you walk up to the car then and see the damage or imperfections you need to remove, you can then narrow that down to two pads, do a test area, narrow it down to one, and you are good to go. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.